We're rolling. Uh, I'm going to review this Black Feather boar Boa from Torrid, uh, which my wife got on sale for $3. And not really sure much about Feather Boas, except wrestlers sometimes wear them. Wrestlers and trainees. Um, but it's nice. Could be a wrestler. Got the mustache for it. I think Jesse Ventura wore a boa once when he was a wrestler. It was governor. Christ. Think of it that way. I would say it's sort of skimpy. It doesn't have much thickness to it. It's just like a string and a bunch of feathers. So it is sort of flimsy. I wouldn't say it's a. Gr I would say for three dollars, it's a deal. Uh, for like a Halloween costume, or I don't know if you're the kind of girl that shops at Torrid and wants to be extreme. Whatever. I don't need a scarf in the winter. I got a boa. This, I don't see this keeping your neck warm either. It's in your nose too. It sucks to be honest. It's a scarf. Uh, I could see it for short-term use, because then it wouldn't be bothersome if it went up into your nose. Like if you were a wrestler going into the ring, like Jesse Ventura. That would be sort of sweet. Pretty sure he wore a boa. I'm not positive. I think Hulk Hogan wore a boa, too. There was a, what was that guy? The haircutting guy from the 80s. Brutus the Barber Beefcake. I think he wore boas. So yeah, if you're a wrestler from the 80s, you would definitely wear a boa. But I don't think they wear much boas currently. You can bring it back. Bring back the boa. Stop laughing, Jesus. <laughs> oh, I can't. You could be like one of those kids that want to bring it back old school that wasn't alive for it. You know? It's like, yeah, I'm going to bring it back, but I wasn't alive for it. Like me bringing back bell bottoms. I wasn't alive when they when they wore that crap. So, yeah. I, I would suggest it, though. If you want to be a wrestler.